Get a vivid picture in your mind of a person who really loved you. A person who made a huge impact in your life. Could be a grandfather, favorite teacher, a best friend. And as this person's face fills your imagination, notice the thoughts and the feelings that get stirred up. The way that person loved you and accepted you, it fundamentally changed the way you see yourself. And I'm betting that means the world to you. You see, the, the pictures we have in our imagination are powerful. They're full of emotion. They shape us to the core of our being, for better or for worse. So now imagine a different person. Imagine God. What thoughts and feelings get stirred up when you think about God? It's funny, we, we know what love is. We know what it feels like. It's incredible. And yet when we ask ourselves how we feel about God, well, for most of us, it's something different. For most of us, it's something much less. Why is that? Maybe like the ancient Greeks and so many people since then, you envision God as an arbitrary and angry God, a God with random rules and an iron fist. Maybe like so many Christians throughout history, you envision the patriotic God, the God who aligns himself with your country but not with others. A God who inspires warriors to kill for God and country. Like we need more of that. Maybe for you, God is distant. The unknowable God. The God who's above time and above change and above emotions. Not exactly a God who's easy to relate to. Or maybe you've been given that all too common, all controlling picture of God. A God whose glory is his right to do whatever he wants without question. A God who controls every event in history, even when 200,000 die in a tsunami, even when the Nazis slaughter millions of men, women, and children, even when your daughter suffers and dies from leukemia. Is it any wonder that so many people want little to do with God and nothing to do with Christianity when these are the images of God they're offered? You can believe in the God of one or more of these images, but if you're honest with yourself, I mean, really honest, deep down, you're disappointed. Because at the core of our being, we all sense and long for a God who's far more beautiful than this. We long for a God who is gonna love us and accept us and embrace us and touch us the way that special person in our life did. A God who's gonna be there and, and love us even when we've made a complete mess out of our life. It's time for believers and skeptics alike to call into question all these traditional images of God. To rethink everything we thought we knew. What if there's a perspective that points toward a God that's not anything like these traditional images of God? What if there's something, someone, who finally opens our eyes to behold the magnificent, beautiful God our hearts always longed for. Most of us are led to believe that such a God is too good to be true. But what if the true God is actually infinitely beyond anything we could ever dare to dream? That would be quite a reframe, wouldn't it? That would change everything.